Food Review Club, it is Joe in Sheffield. An incredible place, full of history. This is Bagel Shack. Now the lads in there, a bit camera shy, so it's just us two today, me and you, on the review. They were telling us that they'd be doing this for about three years. Normally the menu is there, can you see it Chris? Normally the menu is there, but they're going through a little menu change at the minute. Bagel Shack used to be, uh, <laughs> not a police station so to speak, but this is where they said like, if you're a bit drunk and disorderly, it was a sort of like a little prison cell. They just shoved a load of people in there. And that stood there for years and years. But recently, it's been changed into Bagel Shack. Now, I said to the guys, what's your favourites? Please order me two of your best. And they said, okay, the cheesy hash brown bagel. Oh, yeah. And then I think it was the chicken strip bagel as well. Two bagels on the menu today. Food Review Club, drop this video a little like. If you've ever been here as well, what's your favourite? And now we wait for Bagel Shack to produce the goods. Brilliant mate, yeah? Thank you very much. Brilliant mate, thank you. You too, thank you very much. Bagel Shack, let's have this then. Two of the bagels that the wonderful lads in there have recommended. <laughs> I've got the cheesy ash brown one and the chicky one. Don't know which one's going to be which when I take it out, but we'll go for it. I've got to say, I don't know why I've got my bag on. I'll take my bag off. <clears throat> it's got the goods in it. Guys in there, lovely. Dead buzzing about the bagels that they do. Very happy to accommodate us. Said they put on some special sauce as well. So I think this one, Chris, is looking like the cheesy hash brown one. Oh, look at that. Hash browns, slice of lettuce, some American cheese with special chipotle sauce. Afternoon. Hi. Yes, they're doing well in there. They're doing well in there, aren't they? Good guys. Look at that. You're looking at catching up on the business, you know what I mean? So, as you can see, hash brown smashed down, filling up the bagel, bagel nicely toasted. Have a look at that. Really nice bagel. Let's get a look in there. Lots going on there. You've got a salty texture of the melted cheese that's melting as time goes on. Nice, crunchy, hash brown. The bagel is beautiful. One slice of lettuce, not overpowering it. And the chipotle sauce is beautiful. Adds a little bit of spice and a little bit of tingle to it. Is it good in there? Yeah, it's amazing. Good man, what did you, like you get? Huh? What'd I'm, you like to get? Uh, no, I'm not getting anything. Oh, you're not getting anything? No. See you later. I'm gonna go in for another bite. See this, this is where the flavor's at. Melted cheese, crisp brass brown, chipotle sauce. Man. It's such a really nice bite of food. Now, little did they know, when the police officers built this little shack, how many years ago it was, that they'll be pumping out some good bagels. That. It's a really lovely, put together bite of food. Every element of it, working wonderful. Bagel, top draw. Let's get onto this one though. This is the star of the show, the favorite. This is the chicken strip bagel. They do do, like your salmon in there. I think they do sausages in there as well. Geezer, don't know what he's gonna get. What have we got in here then, Chris? There's some lift. Lovely bagel, toasted again. Hot bagel. <laughs> Looking like a good bite of food. Melted cheese, chipotle sauce, crispy chicken strips, put together on a bagel. Bagel Shack, Sheffield. This bagel isn't going to compete, maybe with the biggest and the nicest bagels in the UK. But it's just a great bite of food. Seven quid it costs, about three quid each, 350 each. And it's a great bite. It's a great bite for fish. The chicken strips are freshly cooked. The heat is melting the cheese. Chicken strips are kind of like the nice out coating. Not too hot, peppery, salty. A little bit of paprika in there. Get in there, Chris, a bit. 
Great bite of food. So much going on. The crunchy chicken strips, the melted cheese, the flavours, the freshness. That just one piece of lettuce is giving. You don't want too much lettuce, do you? One piece is perfect. One piece of lettuce is there. And that soft bagel, which is nicely toasted, is holding it all together. And it is a great bite of food. Bagel shack. That chipotle sauce as well. Lovely. Now, here's what I'm going to say. That place, just lying there, doing nothing, turned into one of the top bagel spots here in Sheffield. Hello, you mate. Sorry, you're right. Good to see you. You're right. Free tea from there. A free tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Special Thank you. I told him anyway. Special tea. Yeah, yeah. Lovely mate. See you later man. Special tea coming on the way. That's a review in itself. Love that. The guys in there have thought of an idea. They thought bagels, they thought fresh ingredients, they thought car crashes, they thought of it all. The bagels are beautifully toasted. Honestly, I've never seen a mad car crash. What is it with our reviews, Chris, and car crashes? It's crazy. If you ever see us doing a review, watch out because there's a car crash coming. But definitely not the car crash of the food, Chris. What a segue. For the hospitality, for the wonderful boys in there, for the freshness of that food the lovely bite of the ash browns, the beautiful chicken strips, the price being three quid as well. Sorry, I'm, we're gonna get run over again. We nearly just got run over. I'm gonna give Bagel Shack an 8.5. I love what they're doing. I love the feel to it. I love how kind they were. The food is great as well. Bagel Shack, if you just want, so here's the thing. It's not like a groundbreaking bagel. It's ingredients that you'll know, so they're not really pushing the bar too much, but it's just good flavors. Nice chicken strips, great sauce, good bagels. So I know you won't be walking away like, it's not like a Brick Lane bagel, but it is a Bagel Shack bagel. You'll walk away with a smile on your face, I promise you that. So an 8.5, thank you very much Bagel Shack for a wonderful invite. And what you're about to see now is an extra review of some special tea. Right on that, that special tea, right. A little bonus review. You guys be so kind to give us some special tea. I'll give you that one. Cheers. Yeah. Have you had this before? Yeah, that is nice. What is it? It's chai tea, man. Do you come here a lot? Yeah, I come a lot. Beautiful. Ah, it's very it good. Smells nice, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right, it's so down you, the hatch. So you guys are reviewing food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's lovely, yeah. yeah it's nice. Everyone says you've got, you can talk, you've got the gift of the gab. <laughs> what have you been up to today? <laughs> right, you're going to give this a review, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But it's coming yeah. hot, though. Watch out. It's nice tea. It's nice with and the, sweet. Start with this one left. Yeah? This one left. And then what do we give out of 10? 10 out of 10. We finished the review of special tea. Bagel shack, get down to it. Everyone come down. Everyone come down. Get the tea. 10 out of 10. You heard it here first. It's actually beautiful. Uh, this has been a review. Thank you very much for watching. Hit like, get into the comments. Where should we hit you up? Where's your favourite spots? This is Food Review Club. See you in a bit. See us, big daddy B, pugs and Matt on a mission. To find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavours, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?